Trigger for text notification in Zendesk. For all you marketing beasts out there, you know the text or SMS as we call it in Europe is amazingly efficient in terms of the conversion. Why? Well, because more people actually are prone to open their text notifications because they seem kind of personal. So in a never ending quest to get people's attention, we sometimes resort to having to send text or SMS notifications. Zendesk, customer service platform, you know it already. Or if you don't, Omnichannel solution, very effective, very good. Customer experience consultant here, 15 years of experience, 11th year of being a Zendesk consultant. And today I'm going to show you how to create a notification to send out a text. I know you haven't gotten to the value part yet if you're new, but trust me, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, let's go. I'm going to share my screen. So this is my Zendesk. The prerequisite is to have a number, a phone number, in your customer's profile. I'm going to go to a customer's profile, this guy, which is me, and I am going to show you what that means. So I'm going to go to users, I'm going to look for myself. This is the guy, I'm going to go to their profile and see, I have here on the left, they are an end user. Primary contact is an email address, which is a Gmail that I use. And this is the direct phone number. Very important, please use the plus something of your country where you are sending these texts to. It doesn't matter where you are, but you have to have a country component as well for this to work well. I'm going to send a text notification to this customer who has a phone number in their profile. So this has been the prerequisite. Now let's go configure the trigger. So let's go to admin center and then we go to objects and rules and we scroll down to triggers. Now wait, 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 let's clarify what triggers are. Triggers are business rules that are event-based in Zenda. So if a condition is met, psh, fire, then the trigger fires. So yeah, that's more or less it. Now there's another business rule in Zendesk that is called automation. Well, that is time-based. So we're not going to do that right now. It's the subject of another video. So we're in triggers. We're just going to go here and create a trigger. And let's give it a very intuitive name. Notify customer via text message. Let's put an SMS here because not everybody's from North America. Description, no description necessary. This is very explicit. Category, I'm just going to choose this initial one so conditions now I'm going to go to ticket and is created now these set of conditions can be whatever you want them to in my case I am going to assume that a ticket is created and it has a tag so tag just good look for tag contains at least one of the tags and I'm going to call this tag test very inspired so as a marketer you have to make sure that a ticket is in Zendesk in order to send this notification you can't do it otherwise so think about how you reach out to your customers so if it's your mailing tool like MailChimp, like Klaviyo, like Brevo, or whichever one you use, you have to make sure that you somehow send a ticket to Zenesk. You create this ticket to Zenesk, or you create it manually. Obviously, you want this automated. You don't want this to, to do it by hand, especially when you're dealing with the tens of thousands of these kinds of requests. In this case, I'm just going to assume that a ticket has been created and contains this tag. So from your system, wherever your marketing system is, you have to make sure that you send the ticket here using the API. We can help you connect these systems if you need help, talk to an expert. And when you create the ticket, you have to add an identifier of some sort, whether it's a tag, whether it's a description text, whether it's whatever. So in this case, very simple, ticket is created, tag is test, and then uh, perform an action, which is going to be notify by, and you can see I have here a bunch of ones. So active webhook, auto reply with articles, group email, request me messaging rating, no, target no, text group no, text user. Yes, sir. This is the one. And then it's going to say ticket and it's going to ask me who in the ticket it should notify. Now I can notify an assignee, but in this case, I'm just going to do the requester. So the requester is the person that this ticket belongs to. In your case, as a marketer or customer service, customer success, it's still the requester. So the requester, it asks me, who should I send this from? You can have multiple numbers. In my case, I have this one, body, and I'm going to say, hey, bro, this is your marketing update to the doom. Let's put an emoji there to be quirky and fun. 
I would like this to solve the ticket for me because imagine if you send this to tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands potentially, you're going to have a lot of backlog. So you need to get rid of that out of sight, out of mind. All right, so delete the evidence. You're you're trying to reach out to a customer. Maybe they don't come back to you. Delete the evidence. <laughs> I'm joking. No, but you have to solve it because then you're just going to have a big backlog. And yeah, it's like cooking. Uh, you do a bunch of cooking and then you have to clean up. Maybe you don't clean up then and there, but you eventually have to clean up. So this is exactly like that. Clean up. So status is status category is going to be solved. Thank you so much. Create. All right. I have my trigger created. Now I'm going to go to support back to support so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ticket as if I am this user I'm going to say requester it's going to be this guy and I'm going to say test ticket for marketing text update text notification let's call it okay cool I'm going to say just uh, this is a description it's a description because this, this is not the most important part of this uh, demo this is me just creating a ticket and now very important remember the condition i put it has to be created and it has to have a tag so let's add the tag let's put the tag testing or test sorry all right good so let's just to submit this as new boom all right so now this as you've noticed i clicked to uh, create a new ticket and as you can see it's solved already let me show you this real quick and here we go take a look i don't know if you can yeah Okay, you can see it. Yeah, I received the text. Okay, now if we go back to the sharing screen, I would like to show you the events where this fired. So look, if you click this uh, little thingy here, which is called events, then you'll go in and see exactly what happened to this ticket. And uh, let's go to email notification, text notification, Bernie, here we go. You see this text notification trigger notify customer via text SMS message. Remember, we just created this. Okay, I think this is a very useful tool for marketing because you can use Zendesk in conjunction with uh, your marketing efforts. You can offer support and you can also use it as outbound. Although be it, of course, it's not a super direct way of doing it. It's not like your average uh, type of outbound. But in this case, at least you have a very good outlook on how many tickets you've sent out or how many notifications you've sent out because you see these in reports very easily and if the customer comes back you can just go back and forth here which is a centralized omni-channel solution and you can have everything under one roof instead of having you know 50 different systems where you try to keep up with what's going on in the business all right i hope you enjoyed this quick update i'll see you in the next one bye